Bitsy and the Pickup Truck. Hey everyone, welcome back to Soulmaker. Today's story is a tail wagging tale of canine confusion, community spirit, and a whole lot of laughter. It all unfolds in the heart of a free obedience class, and let me tell you, things get anything but obedient. So, grab your treats, settle in, and get ready to meet Bitsy, the Great Dane with a mind of his own. The Saturday Sitcom. Every Saturday, the community center transformed into a symphony of barks and whines. My friend Rosa, a vet with a heart of gold, ran these free obedience classes. And let me tell you, they were never dull. From mistaking treats for birthday presents to rogue hot dogs seeking refuge in unexpected places. Thanks, Romeo the Labradoodle. These classes were a hilarious mix-up of well-meaning owners and curious canines. The misnamed Mountain. Now, free obedience classes breed a certain tolerance for unusual dog names. Princess the Drool Monster and Timid Tim the Terror were just par for the course. But then there was Bitsy. Standing tall at nearly three feet at the shoulder and tipping the scales at a cool 200 pounds. Bitsy was anything but Itsy. His owner, Martha. A petite woman who barely reached his midsection, looked like she was walking a furry miniature horse. Bitsy's chariot, a small pickup truck, only added to the comedic effect. It looked like a child's toy car struggling to contain this gentle giant. The art of the oozing sit. Keel work with Bitsy? Let's just say it was an exercise in patience. Forget the crisp obedience trot. Bitsy had his own unique style. After a series of tugs on the leash and a never-ending parade of treats, Bitsy might manage three glorious steps. Then, the descent began. It wasn't your average doggy sit. It started with a dignified lowering of his rear, progressing to a dramatic hip slump. Soon, his hind legs would sprawl across the floor, followed by a slow, mesmerizing ooze of the rest of his massive body until he resembled a giant melted marshmallow. We lovingly called this maneuver, Lake Bitsy, and it never failed to mesmerize the entire class. A change of pace. Bitsy may not have been our star pupil, but his goofy charm won everyone over. The children squealed with delight when he lumbered over for sloppy kisses. And even the most stoic dog owners couldn't resist a chuckle at his contortionist sit routine. These classes weren't just about sit, stay, and heal. They were about the joy of connecting with your furry friend. And Bitsy, in his own way, embodied that spirit perfectly. The Great Standoff. One scorching Saturday, however, Bitsy decided to rewrite the lesson plan. As Rosa and I started packing up, Martha, his owner, appeared with a worried frown. A little help with a small problem, she pleaded. Stepping outside, we were greeted by a sight that would forever be etched in my memory. Bitsy, in a brazen act of rebellion, refused to enter his truck. The three amigos, and fifteen sequin dancers. His owner had managed to get his front paws onto the open tailgate, but that was it. No amount of coaxing, pleading, or even the allure of his favorite squeaky toy, affectionately nicknamed Mr. Squeakers, could convince him to take that final leap. There he stood, a monument of canine defiance, his weight tilting the truck at a concerning angle. We tried everything. A thorough check for injuries, a full-scale treat offensive, even a synchronized dog toy dance. But Bitsy remained unmoved. Just as desperation started to set in, the cavalry arrived, the ballroom dance class. The glitter, the grunt, and the glory. The sight was surreal. Three denim-clad women, a stubbornly grounded Great Dane. And a circle of fifteen sequin-clad, glitter-dusted individuals. All united in the pursuit of getting Bitsy into the truck. With a chorus of five, six, seven, eight, echoing through the air. We launched into a synchronized push operation. The truck swayed precariously, feathers flew, and laughter filled the air. Through sheer determination. And maybe a little bit of ballroom technique. We managed to inch Bitsy closer and closer. The moral of the mutt. Finally, with a triumphant roar, Bitsy was in. He landed with a soft thud, sprawling momentarily before rearranging himself into a more dignified sprawl. We watched, a delightful mix of dirt, grass stains, and stray glitter clinging to us. As Martha climbed in with a relieved chuckle. Bitsy, peeking out the back window with a goofy grin, seemed unfazed. He'd won, lounging comfortably in his chariot. Bitsy's rebellion became a legend, a reminder that furry friends bring unexpected joy. Obedience class may teach commands. But sometimes the best lessons are about adaptation, laughter, and the unique bond we share with our canine companions. Did Bitsy steal your heart? We all have hilarious dog stories to share. Unleash yours in the comments below. Want more heartwarming, and sometimes hilarious, tales of furry friends? Woof it out with a like and subscribe. Don't forget to ring that notification bell so you never miss an episode. 
Until next time, happy cuddling with your canine soulmates.